Ugh, you've got aphids on your bell pepper plants. I've got a simple solution that should work for you. What's going on? It's Samantha from 40 Acres of Clueless, the channel where we figure out things one project at a time. Today, I'm gonna to be taking care of the small aphid infestation that I noticed on my pepper plants. Yesterday, I brought my pepper plants outdoors for the very first time to harden them in preparation to go to the garden this weekend. And I noticed they must have encountered some aphids while they were out here because the infestation has just started and it's the perfect time to nip it in the bud. Now, how do you know if your bell pepper plants have been affected by aphids? Well, if you take a look at the leaves, you may notice this one has a particularly bad infestation here. You may notice this white kind of dusty looking substance that is on the leaves. And if you look closely, you'll notice those are actually all itty bitty little baby bugs. It almost looks like a type of plant lice that you'll see on the leaves of the pepper plants. Now aphids seem to be particularly drawn to bell pepper plants. Anytime I've ever had any kind of aphid infestation it has always been on my bell pepper plants. But don't worry especially if you catch it early it's pretty easy to deal with to prevent it from spreading to the rest of the plants in your garden. Now there's a lot of different products you can utilize, but my favorite way to deal with the infestation as soon as you discover it is to use a squirt bottle that you probably have on hand from when you were hydrating your seed blocks and add lukewarm water to it and a little bit of Dawn dish soap detergent. Aphids really don't like the soapy water and the soapy water kind of breaks down uh, the membrane that they have and it just makes the environment less pleasant for them to live. So we're going to start and we're going to treat every single leaf of the peppers. I know it sounds like a lot but it's really critical that we get each and every one. Now it's really important that you get the tops of the leaves and any areas next to the stem where you see them, but it's also important that you gently flip the leaves up and give them just a little spray underneath as well, because the aphids will be all over the whole plant. So I like to use a misting setting. I don't like to have, you know, like a direct spray because that kind of makes a lot of mess. I will put more of a power spray on if I see a group of them on the leaves. But for these plants here, I don't believe they have been affected yet, but I am just giving them just a little preliminary treatment because I just don't want to miss any. So you can see this plant is definitely the worst affected. So for this, I am gonna turn my power sprayer on because I wanna try to knock as many of these off. And it gently removes them. And we want to make sure we get underneath the leaves. You can see, there's some that live there. If you look right here, you'll see we have a ladybug. And we want to try not to affect him because ladybugs actually are one of the number one predators to aphids. So if you see any ladybugs, try not to disturb them because they will eat up to 50 aphids a day, each individual ladybug. So I think, in fact, he might be eating one right now. Now, once you get the soapy water on there, let it sit for about five to 10 minutes just to kind of saturate in, and then we're gonna rinse it off. I don't like to leave the soapy water on there. And fortunately, I have these plants outside so I can just use the hose with a light spray and spray all of that soapy water off. And hopefully that's gonna take care of any of the aphids that are on the leaves that I might've missed with the soap sprayer. If you go to ground and your infestation is still quite pronounced, one of the things that you could try is to order some live ladybugs. You can usually pick those up at most garden centers and there are a couple of places that will ship them through the mail. And they have to stay cool because when they're 
cool, they're in kind of like a dormant state. And once you bring them outside and you set them uh, along with your plants, of course, they are going to love eating those aphids and uh, they are going to reproduce naturally and really help with that infestation. And there's a few other ways that you can deal with it. The ladybugs introduction, that's one. They also do have some aphid traps, which I will link those down below. Those are little stakes that you can stick into the soil and if there's aphids on your peppers it will try to draw them off the pepper and into the trap and that can be helpful. I have not had uh, very much luck with those personally. The best luck that I've had is with the Dawn dish soap and the good old-fashioned hose. I don't like to treat my plants with insecticide but there are some aphid specific insecticides out there and I will link up a couple of those that I'm familiar with in the description below if you're preferring to have more of a chemical agent solution to deal with this versus having to do this process a few times to get rid of them. You're probably wondering how I was able to get these plants to such a beautiful robust state prior to them going to the garden and that was done through the use of an indoor plant growing room and if you guys want to check out my entire indoor plant room setup I want you to click right over here and I'll see you on that video